In Lesson 7.6, you will solve exponential and logarithmic equations. In our first example, we have an exponential equation. If we can get the same base on both sides of this equal sign, we can use our property of equality in order to solve. So since 32 can be written as 2 to the fifth power, we can get the same base 2 on both sides of this equal sign. Okay, and now that we have the same base on both sides of the equal sign, um, those exponents have to be equal to one another. So we can set 4x equal to 5 times that difference. So I'm going to distribute 5 times that difference is 5x minus 5. And now solving for x, I'm going to add 5 to both sides and subtract 4x from both sides. 5x take away 4x is 1x. So I find out x is equal to 5. Okay, in the second problem, we can get the same base 3 on both sides of this equal sign because 9 is 3 squared, and we can write 1 ninth as 3 to the negative 2 power. Okay, and again, now that we have the same base on both sides of the equal sign, we can set those exponents equal to one another. So x is going to equal negative 2 times that sum, and I'm going to distribute. So negative 2x minus 6, and now if I add 2x to both sides of this equation, I get 3x is equal to negative 6, <clears throat> and then dividing both sides by 3, x is equal to negative 2 is our solution. Okay, in the third problem, we can rewrite 100 as 10 squared, and we can rewrite 1,000 as 10 cubed, so we can get the same base 10 on both sides of this equal sign. Okay, and now we can set our exponents equal to one another. Double powers we multiply, so I'm going to distribute and get 14x plus 2 on the left, and 9x minus 6 on the right. Okay, so when I subtract 9x from both sides, I get 5x on the left, and when I subtract 2 from both sides of this equation, I have a total of negative 8 on the right. So last step is to divide. So x is equal to negative 8 fifths. Okay, we're not always going to be able to get the same base on both sides of an exp exponential equation, like in problem 1 here. So we're going to have to go from exponential form to logarithmic form in order to solve for x. So that exponent, any exponent is equal to a log. This one is equal to log base 4 of 15. Now that's an exact value for x. If we want to approximate that value, all we have to do is use our change of base formula in either the common log or the natural log. I'm going to use the natural log and write it as ln of 15 divided by ln of 4. And putting that in our calculator and approximating to three decimal places is going to give us what? Let's see, ln of 15 divided by ln of 4 gives me approximately 1.953. Okay, in the second problem, before we can go from exponential form to logarithmic form, we need to get our base and our exponent alone. So I'm going to have to start by subtracting 3 from both sides. Okay, and then I can solve for the exponent, x plus 2. It's equal to log base 5 of 22. So x is going to be equal to exactly negative 2 plus log base 5 of 22. And this is the exact value we're looking for. If you're asked to approximate it again, you can use your change of base formula to approximate that value for x. Okay, in the third problem, our base and exponent are alone, so I'm going to solve for that exponent using a log, log base 40 of 240. 
Okay, and now to get x alone, we have to undo the multiplication and divide. So x is equal to exactly log base 40 of 240 divided by 0.6. That's the exact answer we're looking for. And again, if you're going to approximate it, you'd use your change of base formula. Okay, here we're going to solve logarithmic equations, and again, we have a property of equality for those. If we have the same log on both sides of the equal sign, the number parts have to be the same. So in this first equation, we have log 4, log base 4 on both sides of the equal sign. So 2x plus 8 has to equal 6x minus 12. And now solving for x, I'm going to add 12 to both sides, so I get 20 on the left. And I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, so I have 4x on the right. Last step is to divide. 20 divided by 4 is 5. Now we have to be sure and check for extraneous solutions, because what value we get for x, since our, domain, our domains are restricted for logarithmic equations, that value cannot give us a positive, uh, it has to give us a positive number. It can't give us a negative value or zero in this number part. The positive five will make um, the left hand number positive. And over here, six times five is 30, and 30 take away 12 is 18. So in both cases, we get positive numbers, and this is a good solution. Okay, in problem two, we have log base e, or natural log, on both sides of this equal sign. So then the numbers have to be the same. x plus 19 has to equal 7x minus 8. Okay, and uh, adding 8 to both sides, so I get 27 on the left and subtracting x from both sides, so I get 6x on the right. And then dividing gives me x equals 27, 6. And I can simplify that by getting rid of a, a factor of 3 top and bottom, so I get 9 halves. Okay, and remember to check. Remember to check for extraneous solutions. But 9 halves will give us a positive number on the left and a positive number in our log on the right. Okay, and in the third problem, here we can't get the same log on both sides of the equal sign, so we have to go from logarithmic form to exponential form in order to solve. So our base is 5, our exponent is 2, and that has to equal the number x minus 4. So 5 squared is 25, and we're adding 4 from the other side in order to get x alone. So we find out x is equal to 29. And now that value will check in our equation also because 29 take away 4 is 25. The number part is positive. Okay, here again we need to get our log alone before we can uh, go from logarithmic form to exponential form. So I'm going to start by subtracting 3 from both sides of this equation so that I have 18 on the right and then dividing both sides by 4 is going to give me 18 fourths or 9 halves, getting rid of that factor of 2 top and bottom. Okay, now that my log is alone, I can go from ex logarithmic form to exponential form. My base is e, my exponent is 9 halves, and that has to equal negative x. So now I have to divide both sides by negative 1 in order to get positive x. So x is equal to negative e to the 9 halves power. And because when I substitute that value in for x, I'm going to have double negatives in this number part of the log. That's going to give me a positive value in that log. So it checks. Okay, in the second problem here, in order to solve for x, we have two logs on the left. They happen to be the same log. So I can condense by using the product property. I can write the sum of those two logs is the log base 6 of the product 3x times x minus 4. And now that I have one log, I can go from logarithmic form to exponential form. The base is 2, the, ex, or the base is 6, the exponent is 2, and that has to equal 3x times the quantity x minus 4. So I'm going to distribute and get 3x squared 
minus 12x. This is quadratic, so I'm going to get it in standard form so that I can factor and use the zero product property to solve. So I'm subtracting 6 squared, or 36, from both sides of this equation. Now I have an extra factor of 3 in every term, so I'm going to divide every term in this equation by 3 to simplify it. And then factor that trinomial, if it's factorable, into a binomial times a binomial. Factors of x squared are x times x. Factors of 12 that have a difference of 4 are 6 and 2. And I'll make the 6 negative and the 2 positive. So that negative 6x plus positive 2x is negative 4x in the middle. Now I can use the zero product property and set those factors equal to 0 and solve. So I get x is equal to 6 or x is equal to negative 2. Okay, now when I check, 6 is going to give me positive values in these number parts. But negative 2 will not. Negative 2 gives me negative values in those number parts. So negative 2 is not a good solution. And x equals 6 is our only good solution. Okay, in problem 3, we want to use that product property again and condense. So we have log base 4 of the product negative x times x plus 10 is equal to 2. Now that I have one log, I can go from logarithmic form to exponential form. So I have 4 raised to the second power is equal to this product that I'm going to distribute and get negative x squared minus 10x. Okay, get it in standard form. So I'm going to move everything to the left this time so my x squared term is positive. So I have positive 10x over here and I have positive 14, 4 squared which is 16 and 0 on the right. Factoring, factors of x squared are x times x. Factors of 16 that add to give me 10 are 2 and 8. Make them both positive. Positive 2x and positive 8x are positive 10x in the middle. So those are the correct factors. And using the zero product property, setting x plus 2 equal to 0 or x plus 8 equal to 0 is going to give me x equals negative 2 or x equals negative 8. Now will they check? Well, negative 2 checks in the first equation, or in the first log of our equation and in the second log of our equation because we get positive number values. And if I put negative 8 in, again I'm going to get um, positive number values in those logs. So both of these solutions check. They're both good solutions for this equation. Include with your notes of this video guided practice problems 1 through 4 and 6 through 9 on pages 515, 516, and 518 of your textbook.